Hello YouTube, my name is Miles Anderson. I'm a professional joke explainer, and today, by popular demand, I'm explaining the jokes of Steve-O, one of the best comedians working today. My name is uh, Steve-O. A lot of people wonder how I got the name. Very simple, I was on Wheel of Fortune. I bought a vowel, I kept it. Uh, I like... Great joke off the top. <laughs> Love this guy's style. Very fast with that first joke, uh, saying that he, he was on Wheel of Fortune and bought a vowel and he kept it. Uh, that is a, uh, a, a reference to the uh, very popular sh show Wheel of Fortune, which has been on the air in America for about 125 years, uh, I think as of last year. And on that show, you buy uh, letters and have the chance to win uh, various motorhomes and barbecue packages. So very funny joke, very funny reference, and it makes fun of his name and the show at the same time. Very tight, clean joke there. No, it's my real name, actually. It's my real name. I got it at birth. Before that, I was embryo. <laughs> Wordplay Ow. joke, Steve O. Before that, he was Embry O. So two great name jokes off the top. Ow, fuck. <laughs> it was a pleasure to be in Houston. I spent like the last 12 hours on US 45, and uh, boy, is my middle finger tired. I. Uh... <laughs> Cut to, the, cut to the funny cowboys. So they are in Texas, and uh, most men, nine out of 10 guys, wear cowboy hats in Texas. Um, of course, you know, there's 10% of the male population that doesn't wear cowboy hats in Texas, and they are simply uh, travelers on their way through Texas to other parts of the United States. Uh, great joke there about the, uh, uh, the road system in Texas as well. So good local stuff. <laughs> Crowd loves it. Yeah, I must have flipped more birds than Colonel Sanders in the last one. <laughs> a lot of great name comedy he, off the top. He's made fun of a lot of funny things. Road Systems in America, America's favorite game show. And then Colonel Sanders, America's favorite gourmet chef. Um, flipping birds, obviously Colonel Sanders is famous for the Kentucky Fried Chicken Line, um, which everybody knows and loves. I was up in Kansas. Do we have any Kansasians with it? Kansasians? <laughs> <laughs> what do you call somebody from Kansas? Lonely, I think. There's nobody in Kansas. There's one lady with red shoes going, where am I? I don't know where the fuck you are. Get your dog off my lawn. Great little riff there. So that was a reference to um, the, uh, the, the movie Wizard of Oz, uh, where, which is famously about a lady who gets sucked up into a tornado and then meets various... Uh, uh, lions and, and scarecrows and tin men and uh, because that obviously is where you end up if you get sucked into a tornado that is scientifically proven. I was in Kansas City, Kansas. Anybody from there? Been there? Have you been there? I've, I've, some of the worst food I've ever had in my life. I had something called uh, turkey fries. What is it? Does anybody know what these things are? Do you really know what they are? I was disgusted. They're, it's it's balls. Uh, it's turkey balls. It's, you know, no, it's like, what is it? It's like Rocky Mountain oysters, right? Which are bull, well, it's not quite like, but that's bull balls. They're much bigger. Uh, unless, unless you've actually seen a turkey with the balls of a bull. Ooh, there's a proud animal. <laughs> actually, you wouldn't have to pen him in because the balls of a bull are so much bigger than the legs of a turkey. He would just sort of sit there on them all day, kind of, <laughs> kind of teetering on his own balls, really. If you want Great style. So it's interesting. So he's setting up this funny um, balls joke again using the stool. A master craftsman always uses the stool um, in some aspect of the comedy. Uh, he's also setting this joke up, sort of pretending like he's riffing. You know, he's sort of making it seem like he's just coming up with this stuff on the spot when uh, generally, especially in this era, he probably had done this joke two to three thousand times. To leave, he'd actually have to kick his own balls out from under himself. Pretty nasty noise, that. Unless, unless he's in a real hurry, he'd have to ride him like a hippity hop. Like, ow, ow, ow! Like that all the way out of the barn. Great act out there of bouncing on, on no, that's balls. That's true, right? They eat turkey balls in Kansas. They, they eat turkey balls in Kansas, which I think is the missing Rogers and Hammerstein song, actually, I think. That's the one they cut from Oklahoma. <laughs> Rogers and Hammerstein. So this guy's really covering uh, a, lot, a lot of references to everything America loves. Um, uh, Rogers and Hammerstein, uh, huge interstate roadways, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and um, 
Uh, big ol' bull balls. Turkey balls in Kansas and the corn is real high. If you are a turkey, grab your balls and say goodbye. <laughs> kind, of, kind of a happy little tune. Like that. <laughs> great, great little song there. Oh, people eat some foul shit. Foul shit! Wait a minute! <laughs> no, people do. They, uh... Okay, so foul is another way of describing um, a bird. So that's a, another wordplay joke there. He moves on very quickly. He kind of knows it's kind of a kind of a lame joke, but he knows that and he acknowledges it and he moves on. Very funny. Uh, no, they do. I was down in Florida. How about native Floridians with us? Anybody from Florida? They put, uh, are you really? Now they put, they put cat in the Chinese food down there. No, I, I know, and they're proud of it, right? I mean, it's in the menu. I had like, it was like Mughal guy fucking Morris, you know? Like, <laughs> Kindly get the chopstick out of my ass. It's pretty tasty. I don't understand that joke, but the crowd laughed, which is very funny, so I am also amused by that. Um, this is a very, this is a classic American comedian. A lot of, in the United States, uh, in stand-up comedy there, it's very important that they uh, talk about a lot of, a lot of subjects are, have, you guys are all, all from America. Um, have you ever been to different parts of America? Do you ever do things that are known in America? So, Americans love that. I tried it, but a half an hour later, I licked my body clean, and then I, uh, I coughed up a fur ball, and then I climbed up on the fridge and took a nap. Do the cruel shit to animals. I have a, I'm a cat owner myself. You have cat owners? Yeah! Hey, kitties? Yeah? Is that right? Yeah, I have a cat. I've actually, I had a cat for like 12 years that I recently had put to sleep. Okay. Oh, no, it wasn't sick. I just got tired of having it around. You know, I had 12 years. Take a fucking nap, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> night, Fluffy. There you go. A dark joke there. Um, changing the expectation, obviously. Just saying, I, I got rid of my cat because I'm mean, not because the cat is sick, which is obviously a shocking thing, which makes the crowd laugh. Um, kind of a bit of a shocking joke here. Uh, it's similar to the, the, the humor that uh, Michael Richards was very famous for um, later on. <laughs> no, I do. I love kitties. I, uh, I have a cat named Mia, who's a female cat. Anybody ever raised an unfixed female cat? Is this a fucking nightmare, man? <laughs> Jesus, Mia was about to go into heat for the first time, and she had never been in heat. She was freaking out like a week in advance. She had like PMS or some shit, I think, because... Uh, no, really, my ex had it at the same time. They acted the same. They, uh... Great. Great joke there. We're setting up Women Are Annoying, a classic tenant of stand-up comedy. Always funny. They both ate a lot. They cried a lot. They both spent a lot of time on the couch staring at me like I was an asshole. But, uh, women, women are very annoying. Yeah, flipping me the paw, you know, that kind of shit. And then she, uh, then she goes into heat and there's a scent, right? They let off the scent that will go, you know, wafting out into the air. And if a breeze picks it up, it will travel just for cats are like flying in from Europe to fuck my cat. You know, cats. <laughs> Here's the fuck your kitten, comrade. Yes, I know. I'll be with you in a moment. Then. Great accent. I got like 30 male cats next to my front door trying to fool me like they're not there to fuck my cat. They're like, silent night. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's July. You know what the real problem is? The female cat, people don't realize this. The female cats actually want... Okay, just realized that was a joke about carolers. Um, so traditionally... Uh, I suppose in the United States, people gather outside your door and sing Christmas carols. So his joke was that the cats were pretending to be carolers. I, the, Steve-O is so fast and I am so slow. Uh, I, I, I am almost not capable of understanding all this humor all at the same time. He's t he tells about one joke every 1.5 seconds and I, I can't process him that fast. I'm doing my best here. Late. Yeah, everybody thinks the male cats are trying to get him, the female's trying to get laid. I had like 50 male cats wandering around my front yard. Mia's in the picture window taunting them. She's like... Cats have lots of nipples. Fun is they get out of my house. Get laid. Just go fucking get laid. She got laid too. Did your cat get laid? Because my cat got laid loud. Cats fucking is some nasty noise. <laughs> yeah, <the> cats fucking. <laughs> Look at <that. laughs> 
Great act out there of a cat having sex. Very funny scene. Um, if you've ever seen it, it's very, very funny. Uh, I live uh, on the ground floor, on a ground floor apartment, and uh, I often hear cats fucking in my alley uh, all night long. It gets quite bad sometimes, and I have to turn on my fan really loud. But it is always funny, I always do laugh. But you can't miss it, they fuck right under your window, they know what they're doing. I listen to you for three months, check this out. Great accent. <laughs> do you know why they make that noise? Do you know why they make horrible noise when they fuck? This is, this is true, this is why cats make horrible noise when they fuck. <laughs> By Steve-O. It's a little, <laughs> little dissertation. Um, okay. When a male cat inserts himself uh, into a, inserts himself. His, his entire body is inserted into the female cat. He has to streamline his body in Vaseline. He picks up speed across the yard. <laughs> Gone. You have no idea where he went. Funny image you know there, but there of course the female. have a whole cat going inside of another cat's cat vagina. Uh, very funny. Oh, has two tails. <laughs> That's kind of a giveaway. You just have to, have to pull that bottom tail. You, <laughs> meow. You're lucky I got you out of there. I don't know, right? when, he, when he inserts his little cat penis into the, uh, say a little cat penis, what the hell do I know? It could be a fucking enormous cat penis, I have no idea. I could have some mandingo cat swinging into my yard. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never actually seen a cat penis, frankly. I've seen a dog penis, but who hasn't? I'm not sure what a mandingo cat is, but I assume that that is, um, of, of this era, something they, I guess, is a cat with a big pee-pee. Um, again, there's a lot of these jokes are very funny scenes right now. There's a funny cat scene, cats having sex. Uh, very, very funny to imagine and hear. So that's sort of the main joke here. <laughs> dogs want you to see their penis. You walk into the kitchen, the dog's fucking a chair. He doesn't miss a stroke. He's happy to see you. He's, ha he's, like, he's like, how about that, huh? Yeah. yeah. Can I have some water? I'm done fucking this chair, I think. I could use a good chair, by the way. Very nice. The dogs don't normally talk, so that joke there is just imagining the funny scene of a dog talking and uh, showing his balls. I love the style of Steve-O, you know, again, he's really good at pretending like he's just thinking of these things off the top of his head, a little bit of, of fast uh, crowd interaction. Um, but obviously this is all very, very well rehearsed. He knows what he's gonna say beforehand. I totally understand this. Um, it's very, very funny, and also it's something I do, you know, every conversation I have with people in my life has been pre-rehearsed by me in my head. I know exactly what I'm going to say if they say something, and if they say something different, I've already thought of exactly what I would say back anyway. So, it's, uh, it's a great way to do comedy, it's a great way to go through life, um, to avoid any sort of conflict. I have another cat named Stinky. Stinky's my little pal. Stinky's my little pal. Stinky pissed on my feet about two months ago and we had his balls off the next day because sometimes a spanking just isn't enough. You know what I mean? You really gotta show him who's boss. We did. We got his claws off. We got his balls removed. He's not even a cat anymore. He's like an eating, shitting pillow. Basically is what he is. Lies around, but a happier little fucker I've never seen. And that was Steve-O. Great stuff. Um, very, very funny. Uh, at, the, at the Houston Laugh Stop quite a few years ago. I, I don't know what year this, I think must, that might have been in the 80s or 90s, uh, which was a really important comedy era um, where there was one comedy club per 300 US citizens during that time. And uh, it was just a great time to, to do stand up and a lot of the great stand up traditions were established there. Um, you know, like uh, pretending animals have voices and things like that. Very, very funny stuff from, from Steve-O. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video on Steve-O, the very famous stand-up comedian. Uh, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe for more and check out our new Discord channel we have. Uh, the invite will be below in the description. Uh, I'm always uh, in that Discord, reading all the posts and occasionally uh, getting brave enough to post myself. So check that out and please like and subscribe, slam that bell icon. And if you guys wanna see more Steve-O videos, uh, let me know. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you in the next one.